I just got finished taking apart the jet powered Tesla and I have all the components that I took off the car laid out on the table here. The rear mount, the rear control panel, the jet engines, the wiring harnesses, the front throttle panel. I'm just gonna open up one of these engines and assess how much damage the salt has done having them mounted on the car for like three months driving the car around. These engines aren't really made for that. There's like corrosion on the nozzle. So I'm gonna refinish that, check all the other parts. I'm gonna rebuild all three engines before using them for the next project. Like this one here had never been used before. This was brand spanking new when I put it on the car, but look at it now. I'm gonna open this engine show you what's inside. These single stage turbojet engines are actually pretty simple and uh, really powerful for their size. Oh no. Good thing I opened this up. The salt got in there a little bit too into the turbine. Salt also got in here. Here we go. Oh, I didn't want to open it that hard, but I guess it happens sometimes. <laughs> Check that out. So yeah, so that's what's inside these engines right here. Basically a bunch of injectors, a combustor right here. That's what this is right here, combustor can. Then this is, uh, technically this is the stator, so this would be the compressor in the front, kind of looks like the front of a turbo. Then the air comes through that compressor into this stator here, back into the combustion chamber, which consists of this combustor and the cooling air as well as the mixing air. And whatever fires up inside that combustor comes through the turbine right here, which propels the entire cycle. Again, and again, this is only a single stage compressor, single stage turbine, very inefficient. I'm not going to take this apart right now because I have to remove this and rebalance the whole thing. And I'm going to show a lot more in detail the inside of these engines in some future videos, but I'm not doing any major repairs to this one. So for now, I'm just going to clean it up the best I can and uh, try to make it look like new again. There it is right there. And I had to switch to a 4K production camera. I couldn't do that GoPro head cam anymore. Interestingly enough, I just got finished cleaning this. This cloth is supposed to be stainless steel. I got the material from China, but if you look closely, you can see that there's some strands in there that look like they're just regular mild steel. Not all of them, but every once in a while, you can see one that's completely rusted. I'm all done cleaning it up. This is how it came out. I think it looks pretty good overall. Now I just have to clean the other large one and the smaller engine. And I have plans for all three of these engines. This engine right here I'm using for a ball busting video. And the other two are already dedicated to two separate individual projects. And if you didn't already know what's inside of these engines, well, now you do. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked it.